and good morning so hang on hey so as you can see I, I chopped my hair and it's all dyed I'm a new girl 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 anyways I've got my coffee and it is really early actually but I've been up since five and I just thought that I would settle down on this very zen morning and I thought that would be a good idea to just have a little chit chat, a little advice session. So I want to make more videos like this because I feel like I'm actually quite good at giving advice. I feel like, I don't know, I just I feel like I'm good at it sometimes, it depends. So go get yourself a snack, a cup of coffee, cup of tea, cup of hot chocolate, anything you want, right? I've got my coffee. <clears throat> How to stay positive. I know that I put out online that I'm very positive a lot of the time. That's just what I choose to share. And I also do choose to share bits that are not so positive, that are a bit more normal. You know, like both sides. Obviously there's more ups than there is downs, but that's not always been the case. So I thought that I would get advice on how to stay positive. Um, so I've just got like little notes because I'm taking this very seriously and I actually want to like just help. I feel like being positive like you're expected to be positive all the time and if something's not going your way you're not allowed to be like negative but I really disagree I think yes you should be looking on the positive side but that's easier said than done say you fail an exam or something and you're like oh like what is the positive from that sometimes it's hard to find the positives but your positive could be well maybe that's not what you're the route you're meant to go down and it's going to lead you in a different route or maybe you had to learn from that to do better the next time or I don't know. Okay, so my tips on how to stay positive is, well, one, find what makes you happy because at the end of the day, like this is your life to live and you're never guaranteed a tomorrow. I know, depressing, but it's true. <laughs> so if you find something that makes you the happiest, you're probably going to be a lot more positive and that sense like you can find positive vibes from that and then like bring it into other areas of your life like for me I find this like sitting in front of a camera and talking that brings a lot of positivity to me I just like posting things it's like having my own little blog so that's a positive positive. Um, and then obviously I do dance cheer reading and I like to take time to just like chill myself so that's another thing that like makes me the happiest which also makes me positive like think about it, if you're doing stuff that you really don't enjoy, you're not going to look for the positives, are you? Because you're just going to be like, Oh my god, I hate, I hate my life. Blah, 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 blah. And it's a waste, so find things that make you the happiest is the key. Even if you write down and then like go back to it when you're feeling a bit negative and look at all the things that make you positive and go and do one of those things, like go on a walk or whatever. Another way to stay positive is to like look at like the good things in your life, don't focus on the bad. So even if you make a list, again, a list, and write down all the things that you are happy about in your life right now. So for me, it would be like um, Christmas, like just simple things like that. Winter, um, pass my driving test, I can drive, my friends, my family, um, Pom, social media, my new haircut. <laughs> like literally there's so many little things that you can think are like positives in your life rather than the negatives and just try and like center your thoughts on them and focus on them because at the end of the day what you focus your energy on is going to bring it back to you which sort of likes to like manifesting like if you believe something's going to happen if you focus everything on something there's more chances that that's going to happen for you which is a totally other video which is coming because all my crystals are up there and I actually need to get a new manifesting journal but you know anyway another way to stay positive like another little tip this is like my favourite quote, but like, it's better an oops than a what if. So, say you do something and you're like, oh my god, like why did I do that? You can just be like, oops, ah well, doesn't it matter, it is what it is. And at least you know, We're, instead of like sitting and going, but what if I just did this? What if this happened? What if I could have done that? Shoulda, coulda, woulda, honey, <laughs> you didn't. So, just like, I don't know, it's a way to look. On the positive bright side as well because if you're doing something that's like doesn't turn out to be just be like oops no big deal <laughs> at least you tried and you never know it could actually lead to something or actually be beneficial and turn into like a complete 
win. My other way to stay positive is surround yourself by positive people, positive things, positive vibes, stuff like that. Because if you're hanging about with people who you just don't like, who don't bring you positivity, then chances are you're not really gonna feel fabulous. Even if that means kicking about yourself for a little bit, no big deal. If someone's being annoying or someone just isn't being the nicest, just distance yourself. Like, it's, it's no big deal. You don't need to be, like, mean to them or you don't need to, like, be like, bye. Just slowly swim away. <laughs> Another way to stay positive is get Pinterest. No joke. I know it's such, like, a visco girl type of thing, but legit, I love Pinterest. And if I'm feeling a bit negative then I just like to go on Pinterest or even Instagram like people post quotes and stuff all the time and I'm like oh so get yourself looking at quotes aspirations affirmations aspirations I think it is just affirmations quotes affirmations inspiration read them inhale them exhale their negative thoughts and vibes and just focus on those and I've actually got like a few that are like my favourite like better nips than a what if or if you see someone for a smile give them yours or there's like motivational ones like I can and I will um, because you can and you will. The next little tip to stay positive is this is like the last one <laughs> to sort of like have goals that aren't necessarily achievable in the moment like for me optimism sort of brings me positivity because I'm like oh well I can do that I'm gonna aim for that and then obviously it's not something that I've got right now like I've got so many optimistic dreams some of them maybe not so realistic but some of them are so I'm like I don't know I'll go to Paris or I'll go to LA or loads of different things like that I just hope and pray for <laughs> because if you can motivate yourself you're more likely to be more positive because you're thinking that could be the outcome like I can get there or I could get there and I just bring more positivity I think because if you're not very optimistic you're pessimistic so everything you're like nah it won't happen to me that's kind of negative so if you just build on positive positive self-talk <sighs> so yeah stay positive and I'll see you all in the next video I really do hope this helps I don't really know what it is if you liked it enjoyed I don't know subscribe like there's more coming and let me know because I could just be waffling all the rubbish and you're like, go away. Or you could be like, hmm, let me take some notes. So I do hope it helps. I do hope it does even make you smile. Like, I don't know. I just hope it does something. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day. Sending air hugs, sending air kisses. And I hope you all have the best day, night, morning, week, year, life. Subscribe if you want. But I would. Bye. Stay positive and keep smiling. Smile right now. Just be like, ding.